In the latest version 0.5.1, you can use Motion Transform Plus to make step-by-step -step random transformation animations. You don't need the Motion Interpolation node in this pipeline. It is very simple to use. Just connect the corresponding port with Motion Transform. Here I suggest to increase the smooth value, or set it to zero, which means start at the same time. The model interspersed in the animation. I recommend changing the random value to avoid as much as possible. Unlike before, the speed in the controller does not work. Instead it is the running, break frame on the node. Step count is used to set the number of transformation cycles. If the value is 5, it means that translate, rotate, scale will cycle 5 times. You can change it as you want, such as leaving only position animation. Or just rotate. Or scale. Mix transform means that the animation is preserved, but the time is not used alone. This means that unchecked animations will be blended into others. Note that when this item is checked, rotation and scaling still exist, but they do not take up time alone. The scale gradually option will make the object gradually scale. With the number of steps, which means that at the beginning of the animation, the object will be smaller. When the only to D option is turned on, translate and rotation animations will be fixed to the XY plane. You can also set the moving distance, rotation angle, and scaling, etc. Scale min is the minimum scale value and also an incremental value, such as 0.2, which is a random value of 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, etc. Scale ratio is used to set the ratio. When the value is 1, it is proportional scaling. East curve is used to set the curve interpolation of the animation. Let's see more clearly. When the value is greater than zero, it is an eased out curve. When the value is zero, it is linear interpolation. When the value is between minus one zero, it is an ease out curve. When the value is less than minus one, it is an ease out curve. The default value is 0 0.5. Step ratio is used to set the ratio of objects to appear. When the value is 1, all objects will appear at the beginning of the animation. When the value is 0, objects will gradually appear until the animation ends. You can also set a random seed.
Default animations are grouped based on ID. Instances with the same color have the same ID value. The Use Index option will use the index instead of the ID value to make each instance random. and checking the rotated local space will make the rotation more exaggerated. In the new version, Motion Transform has been rebuilt and added a rotation priority option. The default transformation order is Follow Curve, Translate, Rotate, Scale. After checking this item, the transformation order will become Follow Curve, Rotate, Translate, Scale. Recalculate ID now allow you to remap ID from a texture. Let's add a texture. In the old version, follow the curve only supports a single object on the x-axis. In the new version, array objects follow curves perfectly. Let's do something to make it more interesting. Let's remap the ID from a texture.
Please try as much as possible, you will have new discoveries. Let's try another texture. 